Hey everybody, what's happening and welcome back. And if it's your first time here, well then welcome. I'm Craig, this is Foxy, and thanks for stopping by. Anyway, today's show is going to be about how Foxy here won Service Dog of the Year in 2021 uh, when she rescued me from a fire. So with that being said, let's get started. So today we're talking about, uh, like I said at the beginning, how Foxy here won Service Dog of the Year and why. And a quick update about Foxy. Foxy is my medical service dog. We've been together now. We were paired approximately three years ago. She was trained by Guardian Angels Medical Service Dogs down in Florida. And she has been a lifesaver to me on multiple occasions. And so what I'm going to talk about today is one of those occasions, and that occasion um, was able to bring her to the point that she was named uh, Medical Service Dog of the Year by Guardian Angels. Back in September of 2021, um, Foxy and I, um, if you didn't know, I have a lot of medical disabilities, um, and some of those deal with lack of sleep at night, where I may be up and get only two hours of sleep per night, uh, maybe less, sometimes more. Uh, but anyway, it had been that I hadn't slept in a couple days. I had been up maybe two hours when I was asleep, two hours one night, two hours the next night. And it was, I was like, I got to get some sleep. And I was worried about having another night with no sleep. So I decided to take the medication that the VA had given me. This is really potent sleeping pills, and it really does put me out. I feel pretty miserable the next day. I get all that sleep, but, you know, you, you just don't quite wake up afterwards. But I decided to go ahead and take the medication. Well, sure enough, we went to bed. I took the medication, and bam, I was out. We're talking some serious REM sleep. I mean, I was gone. I was gone to the world. And all of a sudden, I feel these paws jumping up and down on my chest. It's, it was almost like Foxy was giving me CPR, like my heart had stopped or something. And she's licking my face, and she's crying. And I'm like, what the heck? And I start to wake up and I'm like, why the hell are they testing the fire alarm at midnight? I'm like, wait a minute. They don't test the fire alarm at midnight. So quickly I knew something was wrong. So I got up um, very much in a daze, grabbed her vest, leashed her up, grab a phone, wallet. I think that's all I grabbed. I just grabbed those, those things. And we exit out of the building. As soon as we stepped out of the door of the building, sure enough, there's people screaming, get out of the building, get out of the building, hurry up, get out of the building. I see fire trucks everywhere. They're just all over the place. Lights are flashing, all that stuff that's going on. I turn around and look, and I can see as people are pointing up towards one of the apartment, you can see this red glow in the apartment. And smoke is like pouring out. Water's coming rushing out over the edge. It was just so remarkable. And it was just so intense. And um, just think about how crazy that is when this apartment was like a couple down and one up. I think it was one up, maybe two, but I think it was one up. So this apartment was fairly close to us. And uh, it was definitely a really bad fire. Now think about this, if the smoke inhalation had, ex or the smoke had expanded out, or the building had gotten worse, I mean, I was fortunate. We did not have the damage to our apartment, but we could have had that damage. And the fact that Foxy recognized a fire alarm, now I don't know if she could smell smoke, or she could hear people, or what it was, but she wasn't trained to do that. She's trained for PTSD. She's trained for 
heart issues. She's trained for seizures and all these other things. But she wasn't trained for that. And for her to wake us up and get us out of the building, uh, I mean, it didn't. It wouldn't have. But it could have been a situation where we could have had smoke inhalation. It could have been fire in the building, could not have been out of the building, whatever the case may be. It definitely, we could have lost our lives. Well, because of the fact that she was not trained to do that, uh, Guardian Angels on uh, September of 2021 evaluated, well, I wouldn't say that date, but they evaluated for the year of 2021, and Foxy was named Service Dog of the Year for going above and beyond what her training was as a service dog. So pretty remarkable, pretty remarkable. And just so you know, uh, Foxy and I have been together for about three years, we, um, and she's been just absolutely remarkable. There's a lot of other instances where she's actually saved my life and made a big difference, and I'm gonna talk about those, and there's gonna be more in videos and what made her so special and the things that she's done for me. And just so you know, tomorrow is actually Foxy's birthday, and Foxy will turn eight years old tomorrow. So she turns eight, which is 56 in dog years. So she's still younger than me. So uh, with that being said, if you would, we'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to our channel, um, like this video and subscribe to the channel. You can hit the bell if you want to. That, that's up to you, but that could be monotonous. Um, but I'd appreciate a subscription if you would. As we get the number of subscribers up, our goal is to monetize the channel. Once we can monetize the channel, 100% of the proceeds are going directly to Guardian Angels, and that's going in to raise service dogs. And those service dogs are given to veterans at no cost to the veteran. And the average cost of a service dog's training is two years, a year and a half, 18 months to two years, um, and $29,000, and there's no cost to the veteran for the for these dogs. So anyway, again, appreciate the uh, subscription. We won't, we won't drive you crazy with videos. We'll be doing one on the music side, one on the VA slash service dog side each week. So two videos a week, so it won't be overly bothersome, so to speak. Anyway, thanks for watching today, and take care. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. If you felt it enjoyable and you liked it, please go ahead and like, and if you would, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. You can leave comments below, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, also, you can see a couple more videos below. You can choose one if you'd like to watch. And again, thanks for watching our video. Take care.